Hey, uh, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to connect uh, EC2 to S3, where you can have a script that will run and save files to your S3 bucket that will be publicly available. So to do this, we'll have to do three things. We'll have to set up an EC2 instance, we'll have to set up an S3 bucket, and then we'll have to set up an IAM uh, role for that. Uh, so let's start off with uh, setting up the IAM role. All right, so go to IAM, go to roles. All right, so you want to click on create role, and then you want to click uh, under common use case, select uh, EC2, uh, and then just go to next. All right, so under permissions, we need to find Amazon S3 full access. So go ahead and select that one, click next, and uh, give your role a name. So we'll call it S3 buckets. All right, so you call it whatever you want. And uh, just click on um, create and then click on create role. All right, next thing, let's go to EC2. So next thing, we'll go to EC2 and then click on Launch Instance. All right, so give your um, give your instance a name. So I'll call it S3 Bucket Vid. I'm going to use Amazon Linux uh, free tier, T2 Micro. I'm going to do this without the key pair. All right, so yeah, that's it. You can launch the instance. So give it a minute to launch. All right, after launching, go into your instance. All right, so next thing, you want to click on Actions. So you want to click on actions, you'll go to security and then modify your IAM role. So find that IAM role that we just created. So here we go, S3 bucket example vid. So select that IAM role, whatever the name is, and click update. All right, great. So the next thing we're going to want to do is let's go to S3 and we're going to create a bucket. Uh, so give your bucket a name. Uh, let's call it... Uh, vid example buckets all right and then the only thing i'm changing is where it says block all public access i'll untick that and then we'll create the bucket oh and uh yes they're particular about uh, the characters allowed so let's give it a new name uh vid example bucket one all right so Go ahead, create your bucket. All right, so click into your bucket and go to permissions. We have one more thing under bucket policy. Uh, we're gonna have to change this. Um, well, you don't have to change it. Um, I would like to make it so we can um, read files like they're publicly available from our S3. So to do that, we'll have to just change this policy. This is optional if you don't want to do it. Um, all right. So we're going to use this policy I have, public read get objects, and, and then just pass in your bucket. So we had a public vid example bucket one. All right. And then save your changes. Okay, great. Now let's go back to our EC2 instance. All right, so click on connect and connect into your EC2 instance. All right, so right, uh, sudo su. Um, all right, we just need to install pip, pip I believe. So, so run uh, yum install python3 pip. Click uh, yes. Um, all right, uh, so we'll do uh, pip uh, pip three, I believe, install uh, bodo three. So this is the only package we'll need. All right, so uh, yeah, bodo three is like um, good for, it's the package we need to send stuff from a Python script to uh, buckets. Mm -hmm. All right, next, let's make, uh, um, I mean, 
Yeah. So next, let's make this uh, txt file. I'm just gonna write some you know stuff in here. I, this is a, a say file. Um, what's up? Uh, all right. So yeah, I'm just putting some you know random text in here. So we'll save that just so we have something to pass uh, to our bucket. You can use whatever you want. It could be, uh, um, I've done this with uh, MP3 files, um, you know, images, whatever you want to, pretty much anything you can pass in. Um, all right, so now we need to make a new uh, Python script. So I'll call mine uh, bucket script. All right. So first thing, let's import uh, Bodo3. All right, and then we're gonna make this new um, variable, we'll call it S3, and then we'll use Bodo3.client, and we're going to use S3. And then um, what else do we need? Oh, and then S3.upload uh, file. And hold on, I, I already forgot what our file was called. Uh, oh yeah, it was called stuff. Uh, pretty easy name to remember. First argument was stuff.txt. So this is the uh, file we want to send to our bucket. All right, second was our bucket name. So let's write that vid example bucket one. All right, and and then third is what we want to call it in there. Um, so so you you give it like you know a new name in there. Call it super cool stuff. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and save this and run this. All right, so that ran. Um, now let's go check out our bucket to see if it actually uploaded. It looks like it did work. Um, yeah, I, I just expanded a little bit on our previous script. So I added this little try accept. Uh, so that way we can print if it actually ran or not. So same thing, just a little bit extra. And you can see upload successful. Um, all right, so let's go to our S3 bucket, refresh it. And there we go. See, it's right away our new file. And uh, if you click on the link to it, because we added that permission, it will download right away. Um, so that's it. That's how to set up uh, S3 buckets and connecting them with uh, EC2.